Hello, and thank you for joining us here in the barn garage on St. Auto. Today, I'm going to be unboxing and assembling the Vivo Rolling Mechanics Chair or Garage Stool. First, let's get her out of here. Next, I'm going to lay out the parts in an organized manner. So here we have the seat, the two brackets, all four wheels, the bottom tray, and the frame for the bottom tray. In the bottom tray, I have laid out the bolts that hold the brackets to the bottom tray, the acorn nuts, the nuts that hold the wheels. It comes with a little Allen. We're not going to use that then the two bolts that hold the seat up here and the seat and the instructions we don't need no stinking instructions what I do need here is some Loctite for all these bolts so I can just do this once and not have to do it again uh, the Tac Life Allen wrenches which this is going to be just the five millimeter right here Everything I use is on Amazon, including this stool, and there will be a link in the description of the video. Gear wrench ratchet. And a 13 millimeter gear wrench, which fits these little acorn nuts. And the 14 millimeter gear wrench to fit the heads of these bolts right here. I'm not going to do that too tight until I get the rest of them in there. Now I can go back to tighten all four of them. Okay, I've got a flat washer here on the bolt. I've got another washer in my hand, which is a lock washer. Go up from the bottom, put that lock washer on there, and then one of the acorn nuts. Same again. You see, I've, I've already put the Loctite on there. Flat washer on the bottom of the bolt there. Lock washer, acorn nut. Rinse and repeat. Lock washer, acorn nut. Again, I'm not tightening any of these down. Until I get all of the bolts and nuts in place. The difference with this is it's not just the bottom nuts and bolts I got to get in place. I've also got to get these two little bolts in place up here or these may not line up. Now if you look at the front here the rounded edges are going to be the front and I'm going to put the Vivor sign to where it reads from the front. So 
I can get this in a way where you can see putting the bolt in here. Bolt in the hole there. There's another little hole right there. Lined up in there. Just like all the other bolts, start it by hand first. Get a socket out of there so that I don't have any leverage and I can get a few turns on it. Making sure that I'm not got any help from a ratchet handle at all, so it'll be difficult to cross thread it. Okay, now both of these, all four of these are in there. It's time that I can tighten these down to the final tightening. Start with the smallest ones up here first. I'm just putting my fingers close to the small ratchet here, fingertips, so that I can't Magilla Gorilla the thing and strip anything out. We're going to let the Loctite do the work of making sure that nothing comes back loose. These are the gear wrench ratcheting wrenches. I bought these as a set off of Amazon. Like I said, I'll, everything I use, I'll put a link in the description. And unlike some of the other sets that, that some of the pieces broke, these gear wrenches have yet to break. Backwards here. Again, you notice I'm choking up close to the, not way out here where I've got lots of leverage because I don't want to over torque anything. I'm trying to stick to fingertips. I'm not using the palm of my hand. You'd be surprised how much stronger the palm is when you're pushing on things. And there we have it, the V-Bor wheelie chair. The V-Bor rolling garage chair is 14 and a half inches tall. It's about 14 inches wide, the seat. The seat is seven by 14. The bottom of the chair is 14 and a half by 13 and three quarters. This slot in the tray is about 12 and a half by five and three quarters. This little piece of the tray is five and a half by six and a quarter. And the back tray piece of the tray is six by five and a half. The wheels are about two and a half inches in diameter. And they are about five-eighths wide. The gap between the seat and the bottom of the chair, almost exactly nine inches. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment. Put your questions down below. Until next week, get off the couch, get dirty.